close your eyes and watch your breath. Watch it coming in, watch it going out. Tell yourself you have no other responsibilities right now. The only responsibility you have is to get your mind to settle down. Because the mind spends all of its time wandering around. And as it's wandering around, it doesn't see anything clearly. It's like running past a tree. If someone were to ask you how many birds were there in the tree, how many squirrels, what kind of tree was it, you might have a few details that you saw as you ran past. But you don't really know the whole tree. To know the whole tree, you have to stop and stand and look at it. In the same way with your own mind. Your mind is creating your world in a lot of ways. But have you ever watched it to see what it does, how it does this? Because a lot of times it creates experiences in a very unskillful way. You end up saying things and doing things and thinking things that actually harm you and harm the people around you. Even though nobody wants to harm themselves, they end up doing just that. So why is that? You have to know the mind really well. And to get to know the mind well, you have to be still. Watch it here in the present moment. So take some time. Watch your mind. And then remember, this is a skill that you can do anywhere, in any circumstances. Just be focused on the breath. Let the breath be comfortable so this is a good place to stay, so the mind will want to stay in the present moment. And then you see things about the mind you didn't see before. You'll understand, oh, this is how greed arises, this is how anger arises, this is how delusion arises, this is how I get fooled by these things, and this is how I learn not to be fooled by these things. These are things you can begin to see, but it requires that you be still. Because otherwise everything in the mind is a blur. The squirrels are a blur, the birds are a blur, everything is a blur inside. And if the squirrels are causing troubles, if you can't really see them clearly, how can you get rid of them? You have to see these things clearly first, and then you can get rid of the bad things and encourage the good ones, and know which is which. It's the same with your mind. You've got some skillful habits in here, you've got some unskillful ones. You want to learn how to encourage the skillful ones and discourage the unskillful ones. But first you have to recognize them for what they are. That's where we've got the mind still, so we can watch the mind as it goes through its paces and begin to see okay, where it makes a misstep and where you can correct it. Nobody else can do this work for you. Some people may criticize you from outside, but you're not really sure about what they're saying until you see for yourself, well, this is how the mind operates. It's actually harming itself in some ways and harming other people in other ways. But it also has some good habits in here that I can encourage, that I can strengthen. But first you've got to get the mind still. That's when these things all become clear. <laughs>